Ever wondered what the pop method in JavaScript does? You're about to find out. Pop in JavaScript is a built-in method that can be called on arrays. It's a method with a very specific purpose, which is to remove the last element from an array and return it. This might seem simple on the surface, but it is a powerful tool when it comes to managing array data in JavaScript. Imagine an array as a line of people waiting at a bus stop. The pop method is like the bus coming by and picking up the last person in line. That person is removed from the line and taken away by the bus, which is exactly what the pop method does with the last element in an array. The process of using the pop method is quite straightforward. You have an array and you call the pop method on it. This action will modify the original array by removing the last element and then return that element. It's important to note that the pop method does not take in any arguments. It simply does its job, no questions asked. Now, what happens if you call the pop method on an empty array? Well, it's as if the bus has arrived at the bus stop, but there are no people waiting. In this case, pop will return undefined, as there is no element to remove and return. A common use case for the pop method is when you're dealing with stacks in JavaScript. Stacks follow the last in first out rule, which means the last element that was added to the stack is the first one to be removed. The pop method provides a simple and effective way to implement this rule. So to sum it all up, the pop method in JavaScript is a built-in array method that removes the last element from an array and returns it. It modifies the original array, doesn't take any arguments, and will return undefined when called on an empty array. It's a key tool for managing arrays and implementing stacks in JavaScript. Remember, the pop method is like the bus that picks up the last person from the bus stop. It's a simple yet powerful concept in the world of JavaScript. Now, go forth and pop those arrays with confidence.